last week on the season. The one thing I can remember from talking to Levy was one of the first things he told me it was, this offense is gonna go as you go. Understanding that and knowing your job cold, that was, you know, those are the two things that he really like harped on when he first got here. If you on college campus, you don't know how to get nowhere, just go right on maps. It tells you where you gotta go, how far the walk is. Monday night football. All attention on us. Bright lights in ATL. Watch what we do tonight. Go play for each other. So let's yes, go. Sir. Dominate on three. One, two, three. And dominate. Into traffic and it's intercepted. That was ill-advised as Deontay Prince has the pick. There goes Stu Connor. Stu put somebody on the hood and goes into the end zone. Yeah, so we got D-line out at the bowling alley, you know. I'm here to take the dub, of course, because they obviously can't elbow me. That's not how it <laughs> Y'all know what happened every time we come to the bowling alley. I'm usually always top two and not two. That's, 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 <laughs> During the off season, we would go out and barbecue all the time at the pool and just enjoy each other. That definitely helped us because we played for each other. Basketball, ping pong, tennis, soccer, it don't matter. I can do it all. I'm an athlete. Katie, I bet you you had a first gutter ball. Bet you you had a first gutter ball today. Let me show you how I get down right here. Hey, we ain't gonna talk about that one right there. Marquise Watson taught me this technique. This is a gutter ball, it's on him. It's on him, it's on him. Blew it! Oh, money might be there, y'all. Too close. Oh, we're tied. Oh, <laughs> no, dude. Wait, is so bad. It, it went from 38 points to 58. It's it's I got a strike down here. It's all win. I told you I'm the best bowler here. I got rattled in my own in my own home stadium. It's it's an embarrassing feeling. I just saw that. What? That guy that you plus three. For real? Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit of fatigue, you know, as the game went on, you know, my wrist is starting to starting to break down a little bit, you know. Look, look, look. That's how you get 44. We caught him. We caught him red handed. How does that happen? We caught him red handed. I don't know who did that. No. Xavier's getting plus 20 he's somehow. He cheating. He's cheating. I don't know how that happened, but it wasn't me. So I don't I don't know. Money! Yes, sir! The champ! The champ! I told y'all, I'm the I'm for one, I'm the best athlete on the D-line. So I knew I was the best bowler from the jump. And I just the score, the score says different. I'm the best bowler. We haven't bowled in like two months. I mean, so I had to get a little, you know, I'm a little rusty right now. So when that arm get back right, it's over with. Thank y'all for having us. Howdy toddy, old Miss family. We love y'all. Oh, hell no! <laughs>
Oh, and right, right now. Hey, yo. Check, check, one, two, three. Yep, yeah, don't come with that talking straight cash they money to it. Yeah, real. No cap. Got to tone it down a little bit. We're going to put that in the middle of Yeah. Let's get it. Do my ops, yep. And don't come with that talking reckless. So you better be careful. I say, and them, them ops, I'm cool with that talking Rick. My dog Vass right here. Yup. Yup. You already know, another work day. Yup. Get that money. You just staring at me, bro. I'm just trying to see why you staring at me, gay. JJ, fool. I'm just trying to see if it's some built up animosity or something, gang. You feel me? Hey, what's up, man? He don't even want to talk to me now. That's crazy. Beautiful day to get this money. Beautiful day to get this money, Trey. I ain't gonna count. We we got a chance to catch a peak. When they go trips, they run the out uh, out by number two, and they run a sit down by number one. It like if you sell right, you gonna have to break on that mug though. I thought he was finna sit it down. That's a peak. That route, they gonna get it tripped. Two are gonna run it out. Number one gonna run a curve. That's a peak. Oh, they conditioning time now. <laughs> it's locked down too. It's nowhere to go. Yeah, yeah. Hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. Tell them some more plays. Tell them some more plays so I ain't get a completion. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, D lock in! Good feel! See me! Yeah! Yeah, coach him up, coach Chase! Coach him up, Kiffin! Yeah! Coach all of them up! Coach all of them up, coach! Coach all of them up, coach! <laughs> Post, go! Oh, oh, you know I'm rolling. Hey, I'm having fun with it. Tylen Knight is the definition of coachable. Since arriving in Oxford, the Pearl native has switched positions six times, fitting in and showing out from anywhere on the field. Big hole off the left side for Tylen Knight, the little guy making a nice move. Regardless of size, this guy's a gamer. You can ask him, he's gonna tell you this, this answer. Like, he don't care where he plays at, he just wants to be on that field. That's, that's his motivation. You could take him one week and put him on defense, and he's a guy that you could take him next week and put him on offense, and he'll still do well. He's a, he's a game changer. Out to Fillier, tried to lead him, and Fillier puts it up field and lost the football! Recovered by Ole Miss! I'm not sure if Tyler Knight got a hand in there. Oh yeah, Tylen yeah. Knight came in with that right arm, arm ripping through a guy that played running back as well, so he knows ball security. With the game, I'm telling you. Hey, hey, he real life beat that ball, that, get that ball in existence, bro. He right. see that every day, bro. He lived and he live it. That one went right through his hands. Chapman can't get it away, and Ole Miss will take over inside the 25. And that passion, that energy he has. I mean, you see it, man. He brings it every single day. He has that match me mentality. TK, a dog, man. He's he gonna bring that energy to to the team each and every day, man. Just having a guy like him, explosive, and you know his center of gravity with him being that low to the ground, man. It's just it's just he could do things that I can't. Snap to Tuttle, four man rush. He's in the pocket, steps up, fires far sideline, one on one. It's gonna be batted down by Tylen Knight. Knight steps in front of the intended receiver, Wap Fillier, and knocks it away. Uh, I told you, foes up, baby. Lights out. We lights out this way. Night roll, baby. You know how I do it. I'm going to ask all that. Do y'all think T-Night built different? I'm going to let y'all answer that. Do y'all think T-Night built different? To me, he is what Ole Miss football is. A lot of times you're doubted. A lot of times you're probably not estimated as being the biggest, you know, most powerful. But the guy will go in there and he'll rip the ball out and go make a play because it means something to him. You saw that, you saw that uh, egg bowl. Rodgers to the end zone, a wobbler caught by Williams, lost the football, picked up by Ole Miss. A chance to run it back, and the Rebels have nothing but green in front of them. Dean Leonard takes it all the way down to the 14-yard line. The 
Canadian transfer takes it back 86 yards. Not try me when I get in there, and they want to try me. Don't try me. That's cut though. Cut though. You hear that, boy? I ain't got to say nothing. You hear him now. That's the difference between us losing and winning that ball game. Talent's not on the field. I don't know if we make that play or not. A lot of people grew up in this state, man. They grew up in the Egg Bowl. They grew up watching this, this, this team play. And that passion, that energy he has, I mean, you see it, man. Last fall, the raucous party that fills the Grove each weekend fell silent. Saturday marked the return of the greatest tailgate in all of college football. Oh, it's amazing. It's been, it's been a little under two years, and we're just so happy to be back. This is like family. We tailgate around the same people, and it's just so good to see some of the same people again. It's awesome. We've been in the same spot for 25 or 30 years. We used to could drive in the Grove, and then after they stopped that, then we started putting a tent here. We're from the 70s and 80s, and we all came up with it as a group. And we wanted to represent it something as people come on the campus, they could feel free to come by and ask if they'd like some cool to drink. And welcome, hell yeah, damn right, to Ole Miss. Oh, it's it's definitely an experience. I love it. It's magical in here. Yeah. I wanted to come here to tailgate. Yeah. It is awesome. Absolutely. I'm so happy to be back. Is it, does it feel the same as it did pre-COVID? Um, to be honest with you, it kind of does. It, it feels normal. Everything feels normal again. I'm ready to go. I'm so excited for it to be back. We've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> is, so it, is it just like you remembered? Like, yes, yeah. it is. It's like flashback to 2019 again. I'm so excited. <laughs> now that it's back after two years, what's that feel like? Oh, we're Winning the so lottery. Excited. They're yes. So excited. It was scared that we looked like guess. too fancy. But we just kind of looked on the Instagram to see what other people did like in the past years, and we just kind of went off with that. I'm so excited to like have the atmosphere, especially after like the two years of not having it and all the tailgating. Yes. Like, I'm excited to be back in there. Especially not being able to do it last year. Like I came to a few games last year, and it was it was fun, but it just wasn't the same. So I was super excited for today. We came about six this morning, and we put up our um, tables and all our covering, our decorations. And all of our containers, we host a game, won a game, and then they bring the main entree and everybody else just fills in with things that actually coordinate with whatever the theme of the night is. And then we came up back about 10 with some of the food. We have a caterer that delivers the food. Um, and actually this morning it only took us about an hour, hour and a half. We got cookies, meat and cheese tray, croissants, dip, of course. <laughs> And whatever's in here, which I don't know, Abner's, I guess. We got the drinks over there. Those are always important. We downsized a little. We felt like we needed to social distance. And plus we did all of our food wrapped to, you know, protect our um, guests that are coming in, but also to protect us, too. No one can beat this. Especially long. after a year. Best college town in America. It's awesome. Okay, you can't can't replicate this anywhere else. Rams oh, yeah. by a thousand. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Rebs sure. are sure. definitely winning this. No, not even a question. Rebs are winning this by a thousand points. I said by at least 35. I'd say so. I'd say at least 35. 42 3. At least 35. Yes, came to every game last year. Came to every single game and we're uh, we're just this is this is normal though. This is normal. It's good to be back. My kids are a little older than they were two years ago, but it's so great to be back. It had been 665 days since the Rebels took the Walk of Champions. Saturday's stroll marked the first time for Lane Kevin, and it didn't disappoint. Hey, I'm loving it, man. First Rebel Game Walk, walk time, to the baby. Hey, tune in tonight. Game time, time, baby, tune in. Man, it feels great to be back. No place I'd rather be. It's a tough day to be in the ground. I'm talking about here. It's live, it's lit. We're gonna have a ball. I miss y'all. Man, feel good to have a crowd back in the vault, man. You gotta show them a good show today. You gotta get that dub. Game day back in the vault, full capacity. The fans finna show up and show out. And you know we about to show out. We number 20, so we finna show the world why we number 20. We really number one, though. Yeah, great environment, game day. At home, time to turn Tonight, man, we gonna turn up, man. I was the P trying to come and take us over. You gotta lock it down, man. Lock the ball, let's go. Everybody down there trying to take the food off y'all, please. Put the food on y'all, please. Y'all ain't gonna let nobody come.
come to your house and take what's yours, man. And that's that. Great to be back at home. Matter of fact, make sure things clean, Scoop. Let's go. Set the tone of what it's going to be like playing in this stadium for the rest of the damn year. All right, set the tone. Hey guys, you only get so many chances to play at home. All right, let's play as a team today. Let's go out, set the tempo right away. We don't care who we play, where we play him, okay? It's how we play. And don't go to compete, we go to dominate. Get the ball back, protect the ball. Team on three, one, two, three. <laughs> Only five days removed from their season opening win, the question was simple. Would the Rebs show any signs of jet lag from their shortened week? Our first look at Matt Corral on this Saturday night. Ely gets a hole. He's got a big game. Across the 40, down to the 35. Harris on the ground. He's got some room. Across the 20, down to the 15, down to the 12-yard line. Positive play on his first run of the night. The outside for Parrish. He goes inside the five-yard line and is wrestled down at the three. Corral runs to his right, fires it just across the goal line. Caught on an out route by Dontario Drummond. He's got the grab. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He's caught a TD now in seven straight games. Hey, eat off, fat boy. Let's go, son. The Rebs' first offensive possession was a strong indicator of what was to come. Defensive end Sam Williams had a message to send as well. Steps up, he's hit, the ball comes out, and grabbing it is one of the Rebels. That's Williams. Sam Williams takes it down the near sidelines. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. I told him that's not gonna get one in. I swear to God. You up? You're on deck. I said I'm gonna score a touchdown. I told him that yesterday. Both the offensive and defensive units lighting the scoreboard. The tone was set for Rebel dominance. And reception and quick tackle. Tyler Knight. That has to be a missed assignment right there. Isaiah Eitan goes in untouched. Trying to make something happen. He's knocked down from behind. The action for Corral for the 15 to the end zone. Wide open. Mingo right under the goalpost. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Pass near side. Drummond, he breaks clear down the sidelines. 30, 25, has a stiff arm. Can he stay in bounds? He's to the goal line. Touchdown. This ball comes loose, and it's recovered by Ole Miss. Well, how about the night Sam Williams is having? He knocks that one out again, and it's Campbell on the recovery. I swear to God, I just told that man I was going to get another one. Right before we got on the field. Gets it to Braylon Sanders into the end zone. Another first-half touchdown pass, and Ole Miss leads 36-0. Don't give up easy ones, all right? Let's pick up our urgency. What is the score? Zero, zero. We gave up a cheap one in half. Let's go back out there. We had two turnovers. I want at least two more. We got at least two more. All right, let's go play. Defense, we're getting penalties outside and giving up deep balls outside. Turn and make the play, okay? Let's get some more turnovers. Let's take care of the ball on offense. But more than that, let's play physical, all right? Play physical, go up and attack these guys right away, okay? We got a lot of football left. All right, let's see how we come out. All right, from the first snap. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, team on three. One, two, three. The lane train had rolled through the first half with a good head of steam. Maintaining that momentum remained the focus. Crowd looks right, looks left, comes back. Got a man open. That's Mingo at the five, and he walks into the end zone. Boy, looked him off, John Darnell, and came back to Mingo, who's wide open the five-yard line, and just eased in the end zone for six. Corral's second scoring toss to Mingo marked his fifth touchdown of the game. Crossing route caught by Mingo. Only intensifying his early spot as a Heisman contender. Cuts it up the middle, now bounces to the outside, and Corral goes down to the 16-yard line. Snap and the handoff to Snoop Connor, picking his way off the right side. He sticks it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Snoop's got a nose for the goal line. David once again just behind him, behind that right side, but uh, tough sledding in there, and he just pushed the pile into the end zone for the score. Yeah, oh. That's, that's a good job. Good job. Way to go. You got a whole, you got a whole half to play. Let's go. 
Pressure up the middle. Slung and sacked is the quarterback, Ellis, by Taiwan Malone. Talk to the camp. Talk to the camp. Yeah. 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 Then hands it off to Bullet. He breaks clear of the 40, 35, 30, lowers his head and drives into a guy. And will be down right at the 30 yard line. A 17 yard pickup for him here. Let's go, three! Yeah, eight, let's go. From the right hash, a little bit of an angle for Costa. There's the snap, there's the kick. Gosh, he just makes it look easy, doesn't he, does. he John? It's amazing. He does. That was right down the middle. Five touchdown passes tonight for Matt Corral. 336 yards rushing for Ole Miss collectively. And a win for the Rebels, 54-17. Feels great, man. First home victory. First out of me. Hey, playing football, man. New, new Ole Miss Rebels, 2021. Great win at home, first game. On to next week. Watch them tomorrow and prepare for next week. See y'all then. Oh, we did great, man, but we still ain't satisfied. Always room for improvement. Well, we. Hey, my boy Hood got two piece, two piece combo. Two piece, man, you know. We'll be back in the back in the vault, man, that week, man. That week. Know? To be continued. Defense showed out, offense showed out, put up a lot of points, man. We hope we made Rebel Nation proud, man. Stay tuned for week three. Want to know every week. Rebs are tuning on. Rebs are running. We need everybody at the bot next week and for two lane. Let's turn on. Good win, all that. We got to get better. Practicing hard. Great service teams. Okay, because we got a really, really good team coming in here. We got to get ready for a big time game here at home. All right. 2 and 0 this year, man. About to keep the series going. Back at home next week, time to go 3 0, man. You got to keep climbing. Keep getting better each and every week. And next week, we'll be 3 0. Can't be more happy with the Rebs win, you know what I mean, all? Got to get in there and mix it up a little bit. I hear you. Get in there and get the Rebs a win. You know, coming into a big week versus Tulane, uh, we're ready to compete, man. Not like compete, but dominate. Let's go.